So, Excellency, Honorable Guest Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, now the time is moving on for our next speaker. So, I would like to invite the next speaker is Mr. Jung Baek. Yeah, he is the mentor, teacher, and also the teacher of English in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. The topic is about perceptions of trainees and trainers and director on effectiveness of implementing code of teacher professional ethic. So Mr. Jung Baek, the, the floor is yours. Please welcome. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon uh, from Cambodia. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Uh, for allowing me to give my presentation. So um, let me uh, share my screen first. Okay, can you see my screen, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Uh, Pona? Yes, we can see your screen clearly. Please go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So once again, let me uh, show my respect to the Minister of Education, Youth and Sport, Dr. Uh, Hong Jun Aron, uh, His Excellency uh, Chan Rod, the manager of uh, uh, New Generation Pedagogical Research Center, uh, Dr. Uh, Sin Suwana, the Director of Institute of Education, and other uh, distinguished guests and participants. My name is Cheng Pei. <coughs> so excuse me. Uh, I'm delighted to present my topic on the occasion of the Cambodia Second International Conference on Mentoring for Educators. And uh, yes, uh, as the moderator said, uh, my uh, topic is about perceptions of trainees, trainer, uh, and director on the effectiveness of implementing code of the chair professional ethics. Yeah. So without further ado, let me uh, move to the contents. So, as normally, as the form of the study, uh, I have this uh, chapters here. So I'm going to briefly uh, share with you guys. So um, yeah, the first chapter is about introduction, literature review, and the most important one is also uh, research methodology, research binding, and research discussion. And the last chapter is about uh, conclusion, limitation, and recommendation. So get, let's get started with the first uh, chapter that I'm going to share you the um, kinds of the problem statement of the study. So, okay. So this is uh, uh, from Kim and Rose, uh, 2011, stated that the problem often associated with Cambodian teacher is absenteeism. So this is the research from uh, uh, this couple of researchers. That's why we want to know whether it happens or not. Another research question is from uh, CAPE, stand for Cambodian Action to Promote Education. Uh, in 2015, uh, reported that the uh, private classes, uh, informal fees and uh, payments uh, uh, were conducted or I mean, uh, were collected from the, uh, some students in some school. All right, so another from uh, another group of researchers, Ga, uh, Sagaria et al, 2016, uh, stated that ethical issues present significant challenges in today's present environment. And then 2007 uh, also uh, added that uh, the first challenge is the prevalent practice of teachers openly charging money yeah, for their supplementary uh, tutoring and other constitution. Sometimes it could be uh, kinds of the uh, 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 unity, less so celebrity or party or something like that. That's why we just want to know whether it happens or not. The last one is uh, from Otero 2017, uh, also stated that teachers face complex ethical dilemmas and professional tension every day. So it happens every day in the educational context uh, while these researchers uh, conducted their research. And now uh, let me move to the um, yeah, research purpose and uh, research purpose and objectives of the study. So the main purpose is that we want to know the, uh, the participant's perception on the effectiveness of implementation of code of TPE. TPE stands for teacher professional ethics. And here are the four objectives of the research study. So the first one is the, we want to know the basic understanding on the code of teacher professional ethics, whether those trainee and trainer, they 
they they they comprehend or they uh, understand or they know the the code of ethics or not. And then the second objective is about uh, the barrier. We want to know the barrier or the problem that hindered the effectiveness of implementing code of professional ethics. And the third uh, uh, objective, we want to know the effectiveness. How effective uh, is the, the implementation of code of professional ethics is? And um, yes, the last uh, objective, we want to know their perspective and their suggestion toward the implementation and uh, implementation of code of professional ethics, uh, how they uh, view or they see uh, the effectiveness of implementation in the future and what uh, will they suggest for that. Right. So in order to answer that and to achieve that, uh, uh, we uh, I had these uh, four questions for the second question to uh, investigate that. So the first one we want to know the what are uh, the participants uh, perception on the basic understanding of the code of teacher professional ethics. The second research question is about what are the participant perception on the barrier hindering the effectiveness of implementing the code of teacher professional ethics. And the third research question we want to know uh, the effectiveness of implementation on code of teacher professional ethics. And the last research question is about uh, their perspective and a suggestion toward the effectiveness of implementing code of professional ethics. Then uh, this is the significance uh, of, the, of the study. So uh, according to um, Newland and Candlewell, 2006 uh, stated that codes refer to code of teacher professional ethics are seen as useful instruments by all actors referring to teachers, administrator, and supervisor in the educational uh, sector. And uh, it was supposed that the teacher and trainers will learn the positive attitude and commitment of participants and avoid any misconduct. So uh, the finding of the research, you, uh, uh, the researcher and teacher can read and, and get some information about what uh, they should follow, what they should not follow or something like that, so, especially the misconducts in uh, their teaching or training profession. And school leaders and administrators could also upgrade their need improvement policy if uh, they apply uncertainly. For example, like uh, they like um, this, uh, they miss something somewhere in their, their improvement policy, education policy, something like that. So when they see it, when they uh, realize and they got information from our finding, uh, so they they could uh, upgrade or they could uh, revise it accordingly. <clears throat> Moist, the Ministry of Education Using Board could be aware of the relevant finding and could reform it by uh, delegate their deputy uh, yeah, representative. Last but not least, the researcher, the future researcher could use the finding of the study to be the reference and further sources as well. Yeah. So let me move on to the barrier. This is a part of the literature review. So the barrier uh, of applying code of the chair professional ethics. So Mary Byrne, 2015, stated that there are four barriers to teacher professional development in fracture country. Yeah, so we know that fracture country, Cambodia, I suppose that it is uh, uh, also in fracture uh, context. Yeah, so what are those uh, uh, barriers? So let's get, see, uh, take a look at this one. So the first barrier is about difficult working condition which is referred to teacher identity, teacher efficacy, and teacher professionalism. How professional teacher are, how uh, uh, efficient teachers are, and how identified teachers are. So this is the, uh, what, uh, which is the barrier to the uh, applying the code of professional ethics as well. Another uh, barrier is about systematic challenges. So it is referring to the categorizing uh, by poor leadership and limited administrative uh, capacity uh, Okay, thank you. So uh, a poor leadership or limited administrative capacity and inadequate budget could also lead to the to, to hinder the effectiveness of implementing the code of the professional ethics as well. The third barrier is about conflict. So conflict happens everywhere, just a lot, just much or little, something like that. 
So it could be internal, internal conflict or could be um, interest conflicts, yeah. So it's happened. And the last barrier is about poorly designed professional, de uh, professional development. So when the professional development is not uh, designed well or it's not designed properly, it could also lead to the barrier uh, hindering the effectiveness of implementing code of the professional ethic as well. All right. So let me move on to the research methodology. For um, the research methodology, the uh, research, uh, the quality, qualitative research method was employed uh, as the research design in the study. And the proposal uh, sampling was also used uh, to select 20 participants. Yeah, so uh, noticeably that uh, there, there was um, uh, one director, uh, seven trainers and 12 trainees. Uh, so totally there, there was uh, 20 participants getting involved in the study. And uh, RDI stands for uh, in-depth uh, in interview guide. So in-depth interview guide were used to interview all the participants in order to get more uh, detail and rich information in order to interpret, in order to uh, support uh, uh, yeah, the ideas. And also um, semantic analysis was also uh, used uh, to interpret the data collected uh, using the IDI guides. Yeah, so let me move on to the research findings. So yeah, so we have four research questions. Then we, uh, the first research question is uh, was about basic understanding on code of the professional ethics. So when we ask the first question to the participants, so first research question here. So there were four common uh, ideas or concept uh, to toward the first question here. So the, uh, when we ask, uh, what is the uh, code of the chair professional ethics? So the common answer is that they think that the code of the chair professional ethics is the rule of good educator. Yeah, and duty of uh, train trainers and teacher that they have to do as on behalf of uh, uh, educators. And they also believe that it's kind of a tool to build and gain their great credibility as a educator and professional development as well. So when they practice the code of teacher professional, I think it's mean that they are maintaining their, their, their teaching profession, the code of teaching profession. So they also believe that it kinds of professional uh, development. <clears throat> so the second question, when we ask what are the barriers uh, hindering implementation of code of the professional ethics, the participant uh, share um, uh, with uh, two different factors. So uh, internal factors and external factors. So the trainers in here uh, stated that, um, saying that uh, there's a living condition and greediness. So they say that some of the trainers or teachers, they are uh, ha they're having the limited living condition, but some, they also uh, they are also affordable, but uh, uh, due to their greediness, their personal greediness. Another one is about impatient and physical condition. So it is um, like less uh, patient to explain. Uh, this is just go to some uh, percentage of the uh, uh, participation only. And a limited time and class management. So time and class management is very important, but. Uh, here it is need to it is needed to maintain uh, time and class management uh, properly so that uh, they will uh, run the class with uh, quality time and uh, quality outcomes. Limited cons cons consists okay so some uh, may uh, pay less um, uh, attention to the question uh, unintentionally or intentionally. So this is based on what. Uh, uh, the trainer share, and also for external uh, factors, uh, saying that uh, less competitive salary. So uh, when saying this, they compare it to the uh, like a kind of business sector. That's why, yeah, of course we are uh, the educator. So uh, the salary is not really competitive uh, with uh, to, to if we compare to the business sector. But on behalf of the educator, I myself also. Uh, uh, be proud of what we are having today. So, yeah. And also uh, limited encouragement and participation is also a uh, concern and ineffective reinforcement of job div uh, division. 
So it need to effectively reinforce the job uh, division to make sure that it is fair, everyone get this, uh, the same chance to uh, benefit from any program or any uh, kinds of uh, initiatives in the particular uh, institution. The last eternal factor is about the motivation and materialism. So some, uh, it was said that some uh, having problem with the material. So they, they see someone have the luxurious car, luxurious building or house or buying some land. So they look really uh, luxurious. They are kinds of their rich uh, people. That's why some people, they want to, to gain, uh, they want to make more money. That's why they, they have to uh, uh, find out another job to make more money. So whenever they, uh, uh, they, they find another job to make their uh, make more money to uh, in order to uh, save money or to make money to buy something which is luxurious something like that. So uh, the time for uh, like uh, the job should be uh, limited. That's why it also affects to the uh, the implementation of code of digital personal ethics. But and the motivation uh, in this one. Uh, in this point, um, um, it was uh, implied that uh, sometimes the new teacher or new trainers, they try to uphold, they try to uh, practice the code of teacher professional ethics. But the surrounding, some of the surrounding people are saying that you are, you want to be promoted, you come so early, you are a good uh, teacher or trainer. So this is not the, 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 the real work from the heart, it's some kinds of the bully. That's why uh, it's kinds of a motivation as well. So, and this is just a, somehow it's very, uh, very little uh, percentage of uh, the um, kinds of uh, the perception of uh, the participant. And when asking the same question to the trainees, they also categorize in two factors as well, internal factors and external factors. So they started time management in, uh, inadequate living condition, limited commitment and motivation and less and new uh, experience. So time management should be uh, maintained, should be uh, rescheduled again to make sure that it referred to an inadequate living condition. They think that um, um, they will be uh, like uh, in this case, in this situation and uh, limited commitment and motivation, I think uh, because they are new. So, uh, the motivation to the to, toward the teaching or training job is uh, limited and new and less experience. So because they are new, so they have less experience. So it also some kind they don't know some sometimes they they learn a lot of theory from the uh, teacher training uh, school or institution, but uh, sometimes they also miss the experience as well. So it's kind of a barrier as well. So everyone learn. Uh, by uh, experiencing, uh, practicing, so that they gain experience, they can develop this self from day by day. So, regarding external factor, this same bullying and negative influences, which is uh, pretty similar to what uh, the trainer said about the demotivation as well. So, saying uh, something behind or surrounding them, you are uh, you are too too good, something like that. In, in Khmer, you may know already, you are too good and you come early, you, won't, you will be promoted soon or something like that. So it's kind of the bullying. It's, kind, it's not the, the real world saying like that. So, and yeah, it also affects to the implementation and limited participation in motivation. So once if uh, motivation and participation is limited, the work is not really uh, fruitful. It's not really effective. So and lack of school supply. Suppose that uh, maybe the school supply is, not, is uh, out of stock for a week or for a month or something like that. So it could affect their teaching and training as well because they need to use those uh, school supply to, uh, to, to, to support the teaching. Sample, they need projector, LCD projector to support their teaching or they need other stuff to support their experiment in the uh, lab, laboratory room, something like that. So they, they if, there is no electricity, there is no something, some kind of the stuff. It also, also lead to the barrier as well. So um, the third question, uh, the, uh, the result of the third question is about the effectiveness of uh, implement, implementation 
yeah, of code of the chief professional ethics. So all of them uh, respond in this comment. So they said that uh, effective implementation are uh, applications. So when they uh, when they uh, practice the application as teacher or trainer, it means that uh, is they assume that it is kind of effectiveness of implementation as well. Uh, administrative tasks submit the task, a uh, monthly task, uh, an annual task to the management team, education, training, teaching. So if they just uh, um, um, take their responsibility well with their, um, yeah, with their teaching profession or training profession is good and participation in any school event and communication collaboration, working well together, communicate and um, yeah, respect each other, loving each other. Yeah, and hygiene is also important. So if they are respect each other, they love each other, and the hygiene is good. So they also think that they uh, the effectiveness of implementing the code of the professional ethics is good. So if they don't respect uh, other people, so that means that the code of et ethic is not uh, it's not a uh, practice. So professional development, time management, leadership, support, and motivation. So all of these are very crucial uh, factors that teacher uh, and trainer, they share their experience and they believe that it is uh, 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 the effectiveness of implementing code of the professional ethics. So let me move to the, the suggestion to the last uh, finding of the research question. So when asking about their suggestion, they suggest the uh, all the stakeholders to maintain the communication, good participation, strong commitment toward the uh, profession and high motivation to the work and build uh, the value of trainer to make sure that everyone respect, everyone value the training and teaching profession. And also they, they also suggested that please build trust with each other, support each other and also uh, take uh, strict actions if uh, any unethical issues happen, if in case it happened. And professional, the, the professional development, they also suggest uh, to, uh, to have more professional development in terms of training, workshop, or a seminar, or webinar, yeah. And also time management, they suggest the trainee to come to uh, attend the national assembly uh, on time, and the trainers should also, some of the trainers should also uh, join the workshop and training regularly and punctually, effectively as well. So, the, uh, regarding their perspective, they will say that there will be this prosperity with fairness, trust, and uh, harmonization at the institution. Uh, and also, the trainers' uh, efficacy would be tremendously increased, and the positive impact and will be more effective. Uh, regarding the implementation of code of teacher professional ethics there. So uh, here is a discussion. So um, yeah, I have time. So Young, 2015, stated that professional ethics is foundation and nature of teacher. And Bahrain Ku, 2014, stated that the code of ethics are important, yeah, important, and uh, expression uh, of societal values shared by individuals pertaining to the same society. Another researcher, Ko Hurry, 2011, cited from Frank Edel, stated that ethics is fundamental link to virtue of accountability, trust, and credibility. And for our research finding uh, in the article of the Code of the Professional Ethics to Cambodia, uh, and our finding as well, we can see that the combination um, uh, of rules mean that uh, the code of ethics is kind of the combination of rules, discipline, regular work, and duty of trainers. And adhering code of teacher professional ethic is crucial and have gained trust, value, and inspiration as well. To continue this, we have another, peer, another uh, couple of researchers uh, Newland and Passion 2009 stated that the code of conduct exists to support teachers in activity in classes working with children and support them as they are working teachers. So, according to our finding, a lack of material to support classes in Northern training. So, um, some, of the, uh, some of them stated that uh, they were ignored and yeah, but just a, a small percentage only and then uh, the yeah, limited uh, supporting 
uh, material to support their class. And also lack of proper attention to explain lesson to the trainees of some trainers in uh, a concerning factor. Excuse me, Mr. Bank. Yes. You run out of time now and we still have around three minutes only for the Q&A okay. session, so. Okay, I'm, I'm going to finish it soon. Uh, okay, one minute, okay. please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Kim and Rose uh, in 2011 said the problem associated with Cambodian teacher is uh, absenteeism. So our funding absenteeism of some trainees during the meeting and two participants accordingly found uh, some absentees of trainees during the workshop, as mentioned. And also uh, the article yeah, from the chapters of the Code of Teacher Professional Ethics, teachers show strongly uphold the majority in their teaching profession. And this is from the, uh, our researcher, also support the ideas and our findings stated that teacher have to train, uh, the educator have to train, educate, reduce, qualify human resources and hold their duty as training profession. In conclusion, uh, we, uh, the, the study was conducted at the teach, uh, Phnom Penh Teacher Education College with 20 participants and the quality method was conducted. A systematic analysis was also used to improve the data and we focus on uh, participant perception on code of teacher professional ethics. And here are the four main um, uh, concepts of four main uh, year can see aptitude that we uh, conducted basic understanding, uh, very effectiveness and suggestion toward implementing code of teacher professional ethics. Last but not least, we'd like to uh, um, uh, can say uh, suggest or recommend the uh, community training and trainer and Moise as well to keep maintaining the and valuing and uh, keep uh, reinforming the uh, the uh, kinds of uh, the yeah teacher professional ethics implementation uh, make sure that it is uh, good and further suggestion um, yeah for the next uh, future uh, if someone want, uh, willing to do the research please uh, use the mess method and maybe more than one uh, teacher training institution to compare uh, year, the ideas, the product ideas, and uh, focus on management team impacts on trainers, uh, performance, and relationship. Yeah. And maybe they can use the uh, NV vote 12 to interpret the data and SPS to analyze the data collected. So, thank you so much for uh, your uh, listening. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Bay, for your presentation. Now, because the time limitation, we have only one minute. Um, we would like to invite one question from Mr. Bing Poling Kong. Um, please apologize if I pronounce your name uh, wrongly. So the question is: um, the presenter expressed clearly. Uh, could the presenter express clearly about the current problem related to the topic? Because uh, based on your presentation, there are many uh, problem statements. So please uh, answer this question. So thank you so much for the question, but I'm not sure whether they want to know the uh, the problem from the pre uh, previous researcher or the problem happening at the target school. According to the question, um, he would like you to clarify about your research statement. Your research statement. Your re what is the problem exactly? Yep. The research statement. The research statement, The problem is uh, the absenteeism of teacher. Yeah, the absenteeism of teacher and and as also the uh, uh, informal college, uh, uh, kind kind of fee and payment or something like that. So those are the main problem that they want to uh, investigate. They want to know whether it happened there or not. And as a result, uh, for absenteeism, uh, there's some house absenteeism, but there's no uh, uh, informal fee collection there. Okay, yeah. so thank you so much, Mr. Fett, for your answer. I hope this answer would uh, uh, match to the question being asked. Thank you so much. Okay, so now the uh, session, the second se section for our present for our presentation uh, this afternoon is over.